Good morning, Expendables. Night, evening, whenever you're watching this. Moki here. Today I'm going to show you how to load text mods on the Guild Wars. Very simple process. First thing you do is you want to go to the site wiki.guildwars.com. It's the Bible for Guild Wars. What I'm doing on the left hand side, you're going to see a little box. It says search. In that box, you want to go ahead and type in text mod. T E X M O D. When that comes up, you want to go ahead and click go. Keep in mind, to read the warning. I'll go ahead and read it for you right now. Right here is the warning. It says directly modifying the Guild Wars program files through any third party tools is completely unsupported by ArenaNet and NCSoft. If anything breaks, do not contact support for help. There's nothing they can do about it. Also, third party programs not supported by ArenaNet might contain Trojan, Spyware, Adware, and other harmful programs. I'm going to go ahead and have you download a program from this site. Uh, it's a trusted program. Uh, once you're here, I like to go to Rapid Share. Uh, you want to go ahead and click this link right here. It'll take you to the download for the TextMod file. You want to go ahead, and if you don't have a Rapid Share file or uh, user account, you want to go ahead and do slow download. It's going to prompt you to wait for 30 seconds. Once you wait for 30 seconds, you're going to go ahead and download it. We're not going to sit here and wait for this. After you download it, you're going to get a little folder wherever you put it at and it's going to have something here that says text mod I have two of them what you want to do is you want to go ahead and right click it and run it as administrator you don't need to if you're already administrator and you have administrative privileges on everything you've installed so after you run it as administrator you want to go ahead and under target application you want to go to your guild wars directory mine's in my f drive which is my gaming drive and you want to go ahead and do the gw application not the guild wars shortcut go ahead and do the application Okay. Once you've gone ahead and done that, <clears throat> you want to go ahead and back to the text mod page. Once you're here, you're going to see something that says, see the list of player made modifications for individual mod downloads. Click the link. Once you click the link, you're going to have a whole bunch of VYs and stuff you can download. Well, at least the subcategories. You want to go ahead and click on UI enhancements. And let's go ahead and install the clear line UI. Okay. Once you're here, <clears throat> there's a few things you can do. You can click on sample pick, it'll show you a sample. And this is what the UI will look like. So, what you're gonna go ahead and do is once you've looked at what you want to download, you want to go ahead and say download this latest version or just download in general, it'll take you here. You go ahead and download it and put it into a place where you remember where it's at. Now, <clears throat> once you've gone ahead and done that. You want to go ahead and go to the browse folder right here. You want to go ahead and browse. And you want to go ahead and find the find out where you put it. It's going to be a TPF file. You want to head, go ahead and click open. And then from there you want to go ahead and click run. You can add more than one at a time. You can add three or four if you want. And as you can see now, this is my new UI. The color is different. And it even says it up here because that's how the guy made it. He did a pretty good job at it. Go ahead and log in. Uh, I'll go in with my necromancer. And then once you're logged into the game, you're going to go ahead and see a huge difference in the UI. As you can see, my main map looks different now. A little black ring and arrows. My skills tree looks a lot different. Titles, factions, accounts all look different. My inventory looks a lot different. This is just one of the mods you can load with the UI. So, if you have any more, they're all on that site, and you can look through them all, and you can download player skins, UIs, um, weapon skins. Keep in mind, anything that you download and install, nobody else can see it unless they have that installed. I will go ahead and make a later video on how to actually make skins. It's a very simple process. You can make it simple or you can make it complex based on your knowledge on photo editing. So I'll go ahead and make that video later. And hopefully you guys learn something from this and you can have a better gaming experience to Guild Wars by doing this.